Hey everybody, JC here, Wednesday evening, January 4th, and we're tracking one, maybe two snow events for the weekend here in New Jersey. So let's start off with the first wave that we've been tracking. And this is for the snow event that is expected to begin tomorrow night, maybe a little earlier, maybe tomorrow, early tomorrow evening, into Friday morning. Now this is the NAM short range. And we got to go through Thursday. And here we are, 24 zero Z. So that's like 7 p.m., 8 p.m. So by 7 or 8 p.m., it's into um, southwest and, and western parts of, of Jersey tomorrow. I wouldn't take that timing, uh, you know, exactly. I'd take it with a grain of salt. Maybe it starts at 5 p.m., maybe it starts at 8 p.m., somewhere in that early evening period tomorrow snow should approach the reason region and all this snow here is approaching from the west on the the northern branch of of energy so this is very cold there's no there's no chance of rain here you see some green here along the edge that that's uh that that's nowhere close because real quick yeah see here's the line of freezing at 5000 feet well to the south east of new jersey so there there's really no um rain involved here but then we have some coastal potential coastal enhancement that's going to come up from the south there's the low so as as that weak low meets the energy from that's coming across from the north you, you get a concentration of snow right here through southeast jersey and that's why our map is a little heavier for southeast new jersey because of that potential coastal enhancement. Again, I'm just checking the temperatures here because they're well, the line of freezing is well to the southeast of New Jersey. So when you see this, uh, this green hanging around here, that, that this is all snow. Okay. Uh, it pulls away by, it looks like maybe 7 a.m. Friday morning. Last frame there is 15Z. So 18Z is one. Or maybe even late morning. So we're looking at something that starts early tomorrow night and ends possibly by late morning Friday with light snow throughout most of the region and possibly some coastal enhancement for southeast New Jersey. And I know, uh, you know, we're going like two to three, maybe th maybe greater than three in, in some localized spots here along the coast. Um, you know, the, the, the scientific backed rational argument right now says that yeah we'll, we'll probably see two to three inches here on the coast and everyone throughout this region will probably see you know coding to uh two inches that's the most rational argument but again if, if this overperforms along the southeast coast that is a wild card uh scenario that could happen um especially earlier friday once this coastal low get gets near so then we clear out on friday and it's going to be cold behind that. Now here comes our, our, our second system. So in order to discuss this second system, let's look at our pieces of energy. Here's our subtropical uh, jet stream piece of, of energy. And our polar is up there. It'll, it'll, be, di it'll be diving down. This, this trough here is more associated with what we're going to get uh, tomorrow night into into Friday. So our main players for Saturday Sunday are, are still up in here. Uh, this subtropical piece of energy is gonna is gonna follow. You see this flow across the U.S. It's very it's very uh, progressive. Uh, some would call it zonal, but it's very flat flow across the U.S. So th this energy has no choice but to but to go down and over and and pretty much go with the flow. <laughs> Um, the polar stream is going to the polar energy is going to come down and, and, and try to, to hook in right around here. And depending on where the polar energy and the subtropical energy set up in the southeast US will, will determine whether or not the Saturday to Sunday system comes up the coast. Now, this is the latest GFS at 500. There's that, that subtropical piece of energy I told you about. And I'm just going to walk through Thursday. You can see it get uh, not absorbed, but caught up in, in the, the subtropical jet. And that moves it across the country until we get to about here. Now, here's your polar energy that I mentioned before. Here's your subtropical energy. 
if this polar energy hangs back to the west just a little bit, and if this subtropical energy runs out ahead of it, it'll, it'll tilt this whole trough negative, at least neutral, but, but somewhat negative. That would theoretically result in heights rising on the east coast and steering the surface low that forms closer to the coast. This low is going to pass off of our coast. If it passes close enough to Jersey, we get snow. If it passes far enough, we just get mist. Okay. Now here's the, the rain snow output for that system. You can see how close it is to New Jersey. And this GFS is probably the most southeast with this low track. The, uh, the Canadian is a little closer and grazes the southeast Jersey coast. And the European was even more of a graze of the southeast uh, coast. So for this second system, I really wouldn't get your hopes up along and northwest of the I-95 corridor. I think 95 is the furthest that precipitation could possibly reach coming off the ocean. Um, however, southeast New Jersey needs to pay attention because right now the, the consensus of all guidance is probably just saying a coating to maybe a, an inch at most for southeast Jersey. If this low is a couple millibars stronger, or if that polar energy uh, hangs back just a little bit, or if the subtropical jet gets out ahead a little more, this could very well come a little closer to us and intensify. And then all of a sudden, um, you know, everybody southeast of the 95 corridor is in, in the game for another, another snow event. But as it stands right now, models have backed off on the, uh, the idea of a more subs uh, substantial snowstorm Saturday into Sunday. The models are pretty locked in on tomorrow night through Friday, but Saturday to Sunday, there's still some uncertainty. And going back to the uh, Earth map, this, this subtropical energy is just on to land. Okay, the center of it is, is over the U.S., where there's a lot more weather sensors and ways to, to measure the atmosphere at, at multiple levels. So you'll see that data in tonight's Zero Z model runs, and that, that will start to lock in the forecast for Saturday, Sunday. So to recap, we have a light event starting tomorrow evening until about you know, Friday morning, maybe late Friday morning, that could put down uh, light accumulations throughout the entire state. Southeast New Jersey has the potential to see a little bit more should that coastal development and coastal enhancement occur that I pointed out on the NOM. Our snow map illustrates this, but I just want to have that wild card on the table of possibly overperforming. However, the most rational uh, forecast and, and our forecast is reflected in the map. And then as far as Saturday into Sunday, I'm kind of putting it on the back burner until I see the overnight model runs tonight. I think by tomorrow we'll, we'll be able to say whether this is Saturday to Sunday is going to be a miss or, or something um, for those southeast of the 95 corridor. And when I say that, basically southeast of the turnpike, you could go with that line. Turnpike and, and 95 are not too far from each other through the, you know, through the Philly Trenton area. Uh, they meet back up. But that general line from D.C. to, to New York City is the 95 corridor that I, I refer to. Um, so that's where we stand. Everybody have a great night and please be safe.